My name is Kevin Henry. I'm just presently looking to build up my film career on a grassroots level. Welcome them. I live in an area that's now called British Columbia. We're one of the eight founding families, my family, the Henry family, on what is now called Vancouver Island. We live around colonial occupation and have forcefully and illegally removed from our lands. What I do as a community outreach worker, volunteer, is I search for the truth of how indigenous peoples are actually suffering beyond the history books that were taught to me in white educational classrooms. I truly believe that this is where I will find knowledge, indigenous knowledge, not industrial knowledge, not colonial knowledge. The true art of suffering is something I only have a short amount of experience for. I don't live around the tar sands. Having lived on the island for most of my life, I've been pretty blind and pretty indolent to the true struggle of indigenous people. This was the will of the colonizer. Through my own stubborn attitude, I decided that this was not enough. The people around me were suffering and I needed to know why. Somewhere in my life I decided that the film industry was a great way to do storytelling on an indigenous scale from an indigenous perspective. The truth. And I do a lot of writing that's also very truthful as well and breaking into film has been proving quite difficult. It's costly. My goal is to get up to Edmonton and connect with an elder that I bridge connections with while being at the fifth and final healing walk up here in Anzanac territory, part of Treaty 8. And we want to travel back up here to Fort McMurray, Fort McMoney as it's been coined by many people I'm sure, is to get onto a plane and travel to an area called Fort Chippewa. There are indigenous people that are living there downstream from the Alberta tar sands. At an alarming rate, their food sources and water sources are disappearing. Much of their water is already dead and not useful, not consumable. The animals, have, I've seen pictures on social media that have cancerous sores and boils and just gross things that is just not natural. Having bridged connections with an elder from Edmonton, we wish to further look to our endeavors to document and record the true historical reference of what is happening in that region in terms of land and water abuse. How it is truly affecting an indigenous community on a broad scale at an alarming rate. Their way of life is disappearing. That is why I need funding. I'm grassroots and I'm indigenous. I need your help, and I like to say hi to CM.